Alright. Back again with some Friday Night Funkin'. This one is Twinsomnia, a recent mod where Young Boyfriend goes against, uh, has a small little rapping competition or such with his imaginary friends, boy and girl. Now, before I start the video completely, I want to point out that if I sound different this time around, it's because I have a new microphone and I'm trying to test it out. If y'all like the way this microphone sounds, let me know down in the comments below. Because this microphone, uh, this new one's supposed to block out any background noise and it completely gets rid of the echo that my previous microphone had. So, without, for without further ado, let's get right into this. Now, obviously, as y'all can see, the gallery is already unlocked because normally whenever the mods uh, when you first start up this mod, the gallery is supposed to be locked. I couldn't help myself and I went straight ahead and played the mod already. That's just how I am. I, s I download a mod that I enjoy, I immediately test it out right off the bat. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. But, gonna go to the story mode. Obviously, we gotta pick go hard. Oh, let me get my cursor out of here. Oh, wait, I still need to turn on my webcam. Okay. Wait. Great. Hold up. This might mess up a bit. There we go. I thought I had my hotkey set for uh, my webcam. I guess I didn't. I probably have to fix it later. No matter... This is my second time playing this mod now. <laughs> that still kind of, like, trips me up a bit. And look at young little boyfriend right there. Okay, I still have DFJK. <laughs> the alarm clock. It's beep o'clock, guys. Okay. What the heck? I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn this up a bit. My boyfriend's a happy little guy now. Oh, that's so cute. I do want to point out, yeah, Boyfriend has posters on his wall of Daddy Dearest and Mommy Mearest. And I know y'all can't really see, uh, 
boyfriend has a shelf above his bed, but y'all can't really see it because my webcam's in the way. <laughs> he has a freaking Nintendo GameCube on his shelf. Oh my lord, I almost lost that. Yeah! Oh, she's got the little hands clapping. Oh my god, that's so cute. Hey. Oh, now he's following me. Oh my lord. How? Oh my lord. Oh, I almost, <laughs> almost lost that green arrow. I just realized something. I full comboed the first song and now the second song. I swear to God, if I ended up full comboing this whole thing, I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh, what's going on? Hold up. Uh, for full effect of this cutscene, I need to make my webcam disappear real quick. There we go. Sorry if it paused the freaking game for a second. Yeah! <laughs> That's my reaction too, boyfriend. That's my reaction too. Yeah, see, there's the GameCube right there on the shelf. Oh, I paused it. Freaking. I need to fix my hotkeys later. Oh my! <laughs> ah. Power hour! Let's go! Never mind about FC. <laughs> of course, that, there was going to be one miss in there. Sing it! Oh, 
Oh. Oh, he. Oh, I just popped my neck too. So yeah, she dusted off her dress right there, and while he cracked his neck. gonna be the long open notes I think right where boyfriend starts getting tired oh he's starting to get tired he's sleepy boyfriend getting sleepy Oh, he's going to sleep now. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No. Lemon demon. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! The line the fact that things is blurry To the point that you can't even tell What is real, what is false, what is it? You know, my favorite kind of living hell You see me now, you don't know I'm in your head. Complicated superstitions hanging by a thread. Nothing wrong with a bit of traumatizing. Your only finger on the kid with tattoos was supervising. It should be the pair. I feel like it should be. No. I'd have to tell me all the secrets So I never come to disappoint Pull his teeth, prick his eyes And make sure that he's alive Or maybe rip out all his joints There's no way we'll let you touch him Gonna leave this room and crush Cause you're no boogeyman from our standpoint Nice. Okay. It's not surprising, we're still advising that you just beat it. Kind of scary. It's all imaginary. Do it. Oh, okay. Yes. Don't mess around with them, okay? The end, I think. <laughs> Uh, that stock clip, okay. Yep, mod director, yeah. 
Yeah, Sock is the same person who originally created the Witty mod, yeah. Stankfield, the anime. El Senor Beast. 8 bit. Sarf Productions. BB Panzu! There's the Funkin' Crew. The Psych Engine Devs. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> Alright, let's... Just gonna check out one small thing in the gallery, and that's it for the... Yeah. So, basically, just these two specifically, just giving a uh, small lore behind uh, boy and girl. In this universe, there's there exists a pantheon of... They fic be uh, I might have pronounced that wrong. Beings that inhabit a plane outside time and space. And each of those beings have a specific purpose assigned to them by the King of Time and the Queen of Space. Since the very beginning, there were two beings who remained unnamed and unemployed because no one could think up of think up a good enough job for them. They looked like bare minimum representations of the two most basic sexes genders, but just hanging around stating now manly or girly they're just they are just won't cut it. One day, an undermined number of years after the Big Bang, the King and Queen declared upon a purpose for these two enigmatic twins to entertain. Their sheer charisma and shape-shifting abilities meant they'd be great jokesters, but after the dawn of mankind, they were given a new role, the world's coolest babysitters, and thus they were dubbed boy and girl. Huh. Interesting. What about this one right here? Boy, boy can be described in three words, big, bold, and goofy. Out of the two, this guy's stuck closest to his original job as entertainer. It's like he's dedicated his whole life to being that one funny guy. I kinda like it, considering the fact <laughs> that friggin' uh, cutscene between, uh, what was it, Roughhouse and Power Hour, yeah, where they turned big, that was a good one. Not only is this dude a comedian 24-7, he's quite the show-off. He beefs up anytime he meets somebody new to get real good first impressions and other dumb shape-shifting related shenanigans. Because these two are deities, they don't need mortal necessities like food and sleep. But Boy, despite that fact, still eats and naps like a regular person. Despite being of no race, Boy has a thick Brooklyn accent. Okay. I know a friend from work who is able to do a good Brooklyn accent, and he's not even from New York. It's an accent so powerful it appears in his written dialogue. <laughs> Boy is the definition of a daredevil and will do anything he's dared to. Be careful what you dare him to. Oh, okay. Girl, unlike boy, is much calmer and more down to earth. Out of the two, this last stuck closest to her newest job as babysitter. Yeah. She gives off a calming vibe everywhere she goes and is very efficient at keeping kids at ease. Although she still jokes around, she's a lot less rambunctious than her brother. Girl tends to care about the well-being of somebody more than their mood and only ship shift ship shifts. <laughs> I can't speak. Shape shifts on occasion. Girl enjoys a good few desserts here and there, but has no consistent human eating schedule. She sees no need for it. Boys got his accent and girls got hers, except instead of thick Brooklyn, it's quaint British. Not visible through text. Okay. Even though she's really calm and cheery, she can still sass people real good when she gets annoyed. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, let me move this out of the way. Fun facts and... Oh, okay, I think this might be the last one before I end the video. Fun facts. Boy and girl have pretty much unlimited shape-shifting abilities, but with a catch. They can't turn into anything that looks too close to and or is of the opposite gender, so they physically can't turn into each other. Oh. 
They got funny looking belly buttons. Boys looks like a Y and girls is an X. Is that is that a reference based on the uh, what am I thinking of? The chromosomes, right? It's like you have a specific uh, 23rd chromosome that determines your gender. I think. I might be. I might be wrong. Uh, boy and girl are selectively visible. They choose to be only visible to children. Generally, uh, children. Generally bad people, other deities, and monsters, both real and imaginary. Lemon Demon? He's an imaginary monster. And they still freaking made him go away. Boy will. Oh. I see that. <laughs> Boy will obliterate anyone who gets way too close to girl, like anyone who even dares to slap her ass will suffer the wrath of a hundred thousand men. <laughs> Okay, my hands are keep are gonna stay right here. <laughs> okay. They can both consume the negative thoughts from a person's brain. They don't do it that often though. It doesn't taste good and is a bitch to digest. <laughs> Boy likes to scare away home intruders and monsters from harming children. It's his favorite part of the job. In previous designs, they were able to fuse, but now they can't. There's no good use for it. Questions you may have. How old are they? Pretty much as old as the universe, no biggie. Are they related? They're twins, dummy. Is there a non-binary? No. If there was, they wouldn't have any shape-shifting restrictions. That's like overpowered. What the heck is that? Okay. Is there an intersex? Little kids don't know what that means. Can girl also scare people? Yeah, she just doesn't do it that much. Yep. What kind of hair does boy have? Stick. <laughs> That's funny. What is their favorite foods? Boy likes anything spicy. Girl likes desserts. Nothing specific. Okay. So basically, yeah, so anything from a bakery is for girl. Anything from a Mexican restaurant will be for boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I went ahead and said it. I said it. Pronouns. Boys, he, him, and girls, she, her. Nothing special. Orientations? Wait, orientations? Technically... Arrow... Does that say Arrow Ace? They think romance and... Oh, it says redacted. <laughs> I think I know what that means. They think romance and uh, the horizontal shuffle is pointless. Boy still likes to impress ladies. <laughs> Let's go! This dude over here is stud. What would they look like as humans? I don't know. Are they in the same universe as Witty? No. Alright, is there anything? Oh, just a little picture. I'll look at these pictures another time. I <laughs> That's a good spot to end. I love this mod all really much.